Buenas tardes a todos. Eh, Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to thank you for the participation. I presented Mundo Cáceres, Vice President of the Board of La CNIC, who will tell us about this event. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon. Well, it's um, early still here in Mexico. Well, it's a pleasure to have this 10th uh, LACNOC meeting. Well, it's easy to say, but these 10 years have been a long journey. We've seen, uh, we've known LACNOG uh, since its inception. And uh, I want to tell you what's happening with LACNOG and how we see LACNOG. In the next uh, um, So here you see LACNOG, its mission, its vision, the members of LACNOG and the services that we expect LACNOG to uh, uh, provide to the community and what are the mem what is the value that we want to contribute with. Now, speaking of the mission and the vision of LACNOG, we understand, we understand that uh, LACNOG is the Latin American Caribbean Network Operators Group. It's and the uh, it's a civil association, it's an international civil association, it's a non-profit organization with the headquarters in Montevideo, Uruguay, and precisely it is it was created by the actors in charge of operating the networks of the internet uh, um, uh, providers in uh, the region, but not just the internet, but we are speaking of any organization, companies, or that uh, have something to do with uh, the uh, internet uh, in the region. The mission of LACNOG is to gather the people that operate the internet networks in the, in the countries of the region to exchange uh, views, to participate of events and forum, and to be uh, uh, an opinion leader as an association in the area of interest. And the vision is to strengthen the, the links between operators and the networks in the region and the uh, like professionals. Very often we've seen that the technical problems in the networks are very easy to solve once we have the contact of who can help us, somebody that we trust. So precisely, the idea of these meetings is to integrate the operator so that the community may operate as such. And uh, we also try to promote the work of working groups uh, uh, and to strengthen uh, links uh, and uh, standards and good practices. Los objetivos que tiene LACNO es fomentar la discusión. So, um, the uh, one of the objectives is to promote discussion and uh, exchange information and to learn and collaborate and here. Uh, so we um, go to the international agencies and we share the points of view and we collaborate in the process of uh, the internet developing and sharing recommendations and the best operative uh, uh, practices uh, um, by sharing uh, good practices and to meet the needs, uh, the training needs of uh, the internet operators and other organizations that may require training on issues related to the operation of networks and to participate actively in the proposals and development of public policies in the their area of uh, competence. We also want uh, LACNOG to develop an organizational culture. LACNOG operates with a set of members and a working team, and everybody participates on a voluntary basis. And 
since uh, the, the, it's, a, it's a community that is very scattered, we usually work uh, remotely. We promote cultural diversity and ethical uh, behavior, and uh, we are committed to excellence, the service to community, innovation, honesty, and the responsibility when conducting our work. Now, speaking of the membership structure of the organization, LACNOG uh, is made of a programs committee that receives, assesses, and selects the, part of the uh, presentations of the meetings, a board of directors with whom we have some discussions uh, that may guide uh, the work um, related to the what the community says that LACNOC should be, and working groups that have been identified by the community as issues that need, uh, that could uh, uh, pr uh, provide value, add value. And then the community, it's people that interact uh, and we, uh, we aim at uh, supporting them with all our infrastructure. So we also have the coordination of Leah Solis, who is uh, the manager of LACNOG, and Carmen Denis, who works in the secretariat. In the rest of the presentation, Leah will uh, support us. Thank you, dear Edmundo. Well, so now I am going to talk about the scope. LACNOG is a technical Latin American uh, um, opinion leader that, that uh, aims to uh, gather the people to, around a certain name. That is, our idea is uh, to gather the technical community so that we can solve our problems. In the list of LACNOG to date, we have 1,205 participants, but in addition to that, we need um, the, to solve, uh, uh, we also have working groups that have their own uh, lists. We have nine working groups, and uh, so far we have uh, organized uh, 10 events, but now they are short uh, given the presentations that we have and given uh, the interest of the community to participate. So we are also implementing the webinars. We have over 50 people working in uh, the LACNAC uh, community, working for you on issues related to coordination and uh, social media, preparing webinars. In addition, we have several organizations that contribute, including LACNIC and the Internet Society. Here, I'm going to try to be as brief as possible, but this is a work conducted by the Programs Committee. It's hard work. This shows the statistics that we have been collecting since 2015 through to 2020. We have a ranking of the countries that show how many papers they have presented. Brazil is top of the list with 56 papers and with 37 uh, speakers. Then Argentina, United States, Chile, and Uruguay. And the main speakers, Thomas Lynch, made seven presentations, and followed by Anaí Rebata, and third, Alejandro Acosta. This slide, I want to highlight Anaí's participation. She has always participated in our events. She makes interesting and very dynamic presentations. We are all always looking forward to having her presentations and also because she represents the community of women in the LACNA community. So we really have to continue promoting participation such as hers. We also have the top 
organizations who have made presentations. Top of the list is LACNIC 18, NICPR 12, and Cisco 9 presentations. And these, uh, in, in, those are the candidates and those are the presentations made, the order changes. These are the statistics by gender. The uh, nominations increased, the, the proposals uh, increased in terms of the participation of women, and finally selected, well, there was a difference compared to last year. There has been a larger number of proposals, and this reflects that we can have to continue making efforts to increase our participation. We also have statistics of women who um, made proposals by country, and Brazil is a country that has the largest number of women presenting papers. The topics of the meeting were the following. These are not statics. Topics evolve and increase depending on what the community is requiring. For example, presentations on routing until some time ago were top of the list, for example, IPv6. Now this has changed. This is the board. The chair is Ariel Weher. Edmundo Casado is the vice chair. Then Hernan Franco, Erika Vega, Guillermo Cicileo, Calvao Resende, and Jorge Lam. Several countries are also in the program committee. The program committee prepares all this event. Jorge Villa, Carlos Martinez, Hugo Salgados, Ergan Mogilevsky, Natalia Salchuk, Marcela Orbiscal, and Gustavo Mercado. We thank you all for the enormous work you have done over these past years. Now, what are the services we contribute with, with LACNOG? We have the specific working groups. We have the anti-abuse, the BCOP group on best practices, training activities, and the national NOGs. Here, I'd like to say that when we promote the national NOGs, they are always willing to work and the NOG of Bolivia is offered to Alexander for his research. Then we have a specific CNS group, IETF, which has undergone a change in terms of its objective, and IOT, peering and routing. This event, in this event, our chair, Ariel, announced the deployment of our website. This is an effort of the entire LACNOG staff for the benefit of the community. We are working for you, and it is a great honor to work for the technical community. This is just a part, a small part of what we want to do for you. We invite you to visit our website with its totally new look. And as we had mentioned, a new project we have is that of the webinars. For example, Friday on Friday afternoon, we organize web webinars. We are open to receiving suggestions in order to include further topics. There are several companies that support this initiative and this technical community. We continue trying to find more people and organizations who wish to enhance communications and those who wish to be sponsors can contact our community through this address, sponsors at nog.lat. We are also present in the social media. You are all invited to actively participate in this community. And we really would like to thank the organizers of this wonderful event, the people from LACNIC. So thank you for supporting LACNOC, and thank you everyone for continuing participating at our conferences. Hopefully at the next event, we will be able to embrace all of you. That would be all on my side. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, Leah. We have a question from Mark Urban. There are academic networks, research and education networks like Red Clara or Cuy in Mexico who are LACROC members. If that is not the case, would it be convenient for them to be members? What would the requirements be? Well, yes, of course. In fact, many people from Cuy are active in the LACNOG community. Being part of LACNOG is free of charge. You just have to subscribe to the list we have in the website. And this is not limited, as explained by the vice chair, it's not limited to ISPs. These are all the network operators who wish to participate and share their knowledge with us, and also to strengthen the community in order to have a better internet. You're all welcome to participate. <laughs>